We all want to live a better, more productive and meaningful life while reading one book a week, going to the gym three times a week and stopping our bad habits. But we don't even try to check all of those boxes because those goals seem unreachable. In fact, it seems impossible to get that consistency over a long period of time. Hi, Gerard here, and today let's talk about the long term game. And in this video, I will teach you how to think the right way in the everyday life. And let's start with the picture product. Alright, please look at this picture for a moment. We simply see a solid color, nothing interesting here. But what if we zoom out a little? We see other colors. Let's continue to zoom out a bit, and we start to notice that these colors are, in fact, pixels. And here's the thing, each pixel that composes this beautiful picture is part of it. They are here to ensure the right color fidelity, quality, and resolution of the picture. And this is what life is all about. Tiny little days, experiences, actions, mistakes, pain, suffering, and also happiness that compose our life as a whole. And if you understood all of this, you get the point of the video, which is first to forget the short term and always think in the long term. Here's a graph of the S&P 500. It basically is an index found, so a basket of the 500 biggest US companies. You have 1% of Apple, 1% of Microsoft, Nvidia, Johnson & Johnson, and so on. You don't need to be an investor to understand that part. You just need to understand that in the stock market, stocks can go up, down and sideways. The price of companies is based on irrational people like you and me who buy and sell shares based on whatever they want to think. They can think that the company is worth more than it is currently trading at, so they buy. Maybe they need their invested money or they think the stock is so high they have to sell for whatever reason. And this is the S&P 500 in one day. It basically looks like a random mess, right? Then in one year, it looks smoother, but it's kind of going down, losing 20% of its value because of the war in Ukraine, high inflation, and so on. And finally, in 5 years, as you can see, it went up, no matter what was happening to the economy. And more interestingly, no matter what 10 year time frame we choose, it always went up. It survived and recovered after wars, periods when the economy was down, and high inflation. You can also picture it when going to the gym. You want to feel better and live a healthier life, so subscribe to your nearest gym, right? But this creates new problems, like waking up early, finding the best time frame to hit the gym, lifting dozens of weights for whatever reasons, feeling tired, and repeat two times or three times away that process. And you will see a compounded difference after only a few months, between 6 to 12 months. Say you run a business like a YouTube channel, you might have a few hundred views in the first few months, and maybe that trend will continue for a year, then your videos can go viral and make thousands of views. And the next month, the videos can return to a few hundred views. That's how life works. Overall, we tend to see progress as consistent, small steps each month, so more and more subscribers every single month. Right, this is progress. But this is also progress. Sometimes it goes up down and in between, then up again. But if we smooth out a curve in the long term, it basically goes up. So progress depends on every single action every day, right? But it also has to be seen from a wider point of view while zooming out. This applies to your goals, habits and ambitions in life. The problem now is about zooming in. What can we do in the short term to achieve the long term results we all want? This brings us to the 1% rule. And this rule is very simple. No matter what I'm doing in life right now, from writing a script, going to the gym, working on a side hustle, wedding, and so on, I always tell myself that the year I'm currently living on is only 1% of my overall life, assuming I will live 100 years, of course. Waking every single morning to hit the gym for 2 hours seems impossible in the long run, but once I know that every effort I do daily is only 1% of my overall life, I found it easier to go on and stay consistent. One year already finishes that I don't even remember what pain I had to endure, because the brain forgets, it knows how difficult it was but it feels like the past. And by the way, being 1% better every single day is already 47 times better every year, which is outstanding in my own opinion. And this comes from James Clear in his book Atomic Habits, which highlights the impact of continuous improvement. By making tiny little steps forward, growth becomes inevitable. And those tiny steps don't result in much initially, but with enough repetitions, they ensure accelerated growth. By improving only 1% a day, you can improve yourself by 47 times in a year. Life is a journey, but it's not a journey toward a destination. It's a journey where every moment is important. Make the most of those moments by becoming a bit better than yesterday. 
and in the end, you'll be able to zoom out and see how much progress you made in life. And if you have enjoyed this video, then you will like this one, where it teach you how to efficiently take notes from everything you read and watch, or this one, where I talk about the six rules in life taught by Elon Musk itself. Thanks so much for watching, feel free to leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, I will see you in the next one.